What's up, Squirrel fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and I'm out here in Tangerang. And man, I've been waiting for this moment. I've been waiting to meet this guy. I'm here with Dewa United's Zoran Tally Jr. Oh my, oh my God, nice to meet you, nice bro. Nice to meet you, Zoran. Finally, Hi, finally, man. How you doing, my brother? We're good. How you doing? I'm doing good too, man. Thank you for coming to my show. And uh, you've been in Indonesia for a while now. Yeah. What you been up here? What you been up to, man? Man, just out here chilling, you know, enjoying the Indonesia weather, you know, enjoying the whole environment, just, you know, everything as a whole, just taking it all in. But I remember that when you came here for the first time, <laughs> like, I saw your Instagram story, like, you went to the streets, bro, like, yeah. meeting all the kids, like, how much do you enjoy being out here? Uh, most definitely, it's a cultural difference for me, you know, I travel a lot, so... I like to just get out, you know, the good parts, the bad parts, experience everything as a whole, you know, like, I'm not bougie, like, I want to see it all, you know, the bad and the good, and get out there and experience it. I mean, that's so cool that the kids probably went crazy when they saw you, like, oh my god, who is this big guy? Oh, yeah, they, they, were showing, they were showing me around, you know, the cutways, showing me around where they live, you know, and oh, everything, so it was all good. No English, but I had my translator on my phone, so I had the Google app, so I was talking to them through that. Bro. Uh, that yeah, that's very helpful, though. But yeah. obviously, uh, you guys had a disappointing playoff run. Yeah. Um, you played in the home of Pravira Bandu, but you guys yes. were able to force game three and went up by eight, yes. heading to the fourth quarter. But what happened, though, in the fourth quarter, and how hurt are you from that loss? Well, I'll answer the second question. Uh-huh. I was hurt because me, I got a winning spirit. At the end of the day, I love to win. I want to win, you know. I hate losing. So, you know, after that clock hit 0-0, I was kind of disappointed because, you know, it was all over. But, it's you know, to answer the first question, I don't know, you know. I don't know how we lost that lead. It was eight points, you say? We yeah. lost an eight-point lead. I say, you know, turnovers. You know, not taking care of the ball and then just not playing together as a team. You know, like we had the lead, we had to we had to control. You know, so we didn't control it all the way as we should have. So, I mean, just you know, dumb decisions that we made down the stretch. You know, it was a learning experience at the end of the day. You know, you never played in the IBL in an IBL game before, no. No. and you had 20 points right away though in game one. Uh, how tough was it for you though to play your first game? Uh, in a playoff atmosphere? Uh, it was tough, but at the same time, you know, like I've been playing basketball my mm -hmm. whole life, so, you know, God blessed me with these talents, so I just go out there and play basketball at the end of the day, just do what I was born to do, you know, so as far as, like, the atmosphere, you know, playing against the home uh -huh. city team, you know, that was, like, a big challenge because, you know, you got the refs, you got the fans, and then it's like, on the court, it's eight on five. You know, you're playing against the refs as well. You know, the home team got the advantage. So that would be, the, like, the, I'll say that's the toughest part, you know. But obviously it was an experience because there's an incident, yeah. you know, people throwing bottles uh, to the court. But just overall, though. I didn't well, see that. You didn't see that? Uh, uh, good thing, you know, right after the clock hit zero zero, I just went straight to the locker room. Okay. You know, all respect to Praweda, but, uh, yeah, I was so mad. I, I left. I didn't see, you know, I guess it was like little, inner, I mean, uh, altercations going on, the fans throwing things at yeah. each other. But, I mean, I just went straight to the locker room. So that's good then, if yeah. you didn't see that. I didn't yeah. see nothing, man. Yeah. So what do you think about the IBL then, you know, and what impressed you the most about the league? Uh, I like I like the IBL. Most definitely, you know, it's a competitive league. Mm -hmm. It's different. You know, they got different rules. Hopefully they change them. You know, I'm not going to get into detail, but <laughs> hopefully you guys change a few rules for next year, you yeah. know. But, uh, you know, I like it. Good competitive. I like the locals here as well, you know. Mm -hmm. My first time coming to Asia, you know, I didn't know what to experience. Uh, one thing I can say that is good basketball out here. Okay, that's good, good man. That's good to hear. Uh, that's good to hear about that. But um, obviously, we're talking about the local players, right? Yes. You just talk about the local players. Yes. Caleb, my boy, is the best local player yes. on your team. But for me, yes. actually, Ferdian surprised me the most during game two and game three. He yes. stepped up. My boy Ferdy. Yeah, your boy Ferdy. Yes. He had his best game probably in game three, yes. but. Were you surprised, though, by his contribution? Uh, no, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you got to be ready to step up whenever your number is called. So, you know, in practice, you know, we play hard every day against each other. You know, we try to get that playoff atmosphere in practices as well. So, I mean, Ferdy, whenever your number is called, you just got to be ready, you know. 
And as far as collab, most definitely I agree with you. The best <laughs> local player out here. You know, the I, IBL should have gave him MVP, but we're not going to talk about that. You know, his numbers and his stats, they talk for itself. But Caleb is a great player, you know, and he came off an injury. I didn't know that until I got here. So this is his first year coming back off that injury. So for him to show those stats and play hard like that, you know, you got to respect him. Yeah, man, that's my pick for MVP as yeah. well. Most definitely. Everybody, everybody's yeah. MVP, man. And your team actually has a unique situation. We just talked about the minutes that I was t uh, telling you. But yes. you guys have three import players on one team. You got David Seegers, you got Jamar Johnson, and you got yourself. Yes. What was the toughest thing, though, about this situation? Uh, I'll probably say it wasn't as tough as far as us. You know, we had to battle it mentally, uh -huh. you know, coming out the game, you know, coach making that decision. But I know that was probably more of a tougher decision for the coach. Okay. You know, having three locals, you know, we all can play basketball. You know, you got me and uh, me and Jamar, you know, as our bigs out here, the, the bigger guys. And then you got Dave as our point guard. So I'll say that was more of a tougher decision on coaches in. But as far as us, you know, uh, we can go out there and play. Of course, we want to play the whole game, yeah, you know. Course. But at the end of the day, I'll say mentally, you know, staying in the game, staying in it. When times we want to be in there, we're not in there. So... I'll probably go with that. How does he do it, though, Coach Max? He like, dude, did he like sit everybody down and talk, or? I mean, no, not necessarily. You know, we just when we all got out here, we just practiced, and then you know he made his decisions. So you know, we can't argue the coach's decision. We just gotta be ready when our numbers called. You know. And how's your relationship though, with Coach Max? And what do you think stood out about him? Great guy. You know, first of all, I want to say uh, when I first got out here. You know, he told me he's from Argentina. He reached yeah. out to me before I came out here. And one thing I can say, great coach. Like, he knows how to bring a different level out of the locals. Okay. Most definitely, he uh, gave them a lot of knowledge and educated them. I could say that. And then, you know, his background, he coached in the uh, Tokyo Olympics. Yeah. So, most definitely, he knows his basketball. He knows what he's talking about. So, as long as you buy in, you listen, uh, you're going to gain a lot of knowledge from him. Okay. Great guy, great guy. Yeah, his resume is insane. Great resume, great resume. Yeah. And yeah, you also play D, uh, good, uh, you played in an elite D1 program, Iowa State yeah. Cyclones. And before that, Old Dominion, got to give out the Old Dominion. Oh, yeah. You know, it's love too, still over there, both yes, colleges, sir. both yeah, colleges. Old Dominion as well. But first, what was your reaction though when I tagged you that video? Uh, with Tyrese Halliburton. And I woke up to it, and I was like, my boy, because Tyrese, that's my boy. You know, when I was uh, my senior year, he was a freshman. So most definitely, you know, we had one year with each other, but, you know, we built a good relationship within that one year. But I was most definitely surprised when I woke up and saw that video. I was like, my boy in Vegas, I saw you in Vegas with him. So that a lot of people sent me that video as well on oh, Instagram okay. and everything. But it was good to see that you got up with him. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Tyrus is one of the nicest guys, though, you know, in the NBA for sure, hands down. Yeah. So when you came, I was like, oh, my God, who, who is friends with Another NBA player, you know, and I saw oh, you play for Iowa State, so, them, yeah, yeah, you know. So, how's your relationship, though, with Tyrese? I mean, we don't talk as often, but when we do, it's all love. You know, he just got traded from Sacramento to Indiana. You know, that's my hometown state, so I haven't really been back home to really, like, you know, see if I can link up with him, go say what's up to him in Indianapolis. That's probably, like, two and a half hours away from me where I'm okay. from. So, it's not, like, right there, but it's, like, a two-hour drive. But, you know, whenever I'm in that if I go to Indianapolis, you know, if I hit him up, I'm pretty sure it'd be all love, you know. Yeah, man, that would be dope, though, when you see him again. And, hey, what, what was your favorite moment, though, playing at Iowa State University? My favorite moment? Yeah. Uh, beating Kansas for the Big 12 championship. I didn't play. I was out with a concussion. You know, my years at Iowa State weren't the best, but my senior year, most definitely, I'll say beating Kansas. You know, Kansas is a big-time program. When you hear about Division One programs, you know, Kansas is at the top of the list. You know? Who was on the team, though, uh, on Kansas at that time? At that time, was it, I, I want to say Azubuki was there. Oh. That's their big, uh, yeah. the year before, Graham left, so he wasn't there my senior year. That was my junior year. Devontae Graham, you know. Devontae. Uh, he's he with yeah. the Pelicans, Pelicans now, right? Yeah, yeah, he with the Pelicans now. But uh, they had another guard as well. I forgot his name. He was young, but he was a great kid as well. But... Uh, I'll probably, I, the only person I can name right now is Azubuki. Yeah, Azubuki, yeah. yeah. Azubuki went to the Utah Jazz, I think, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And uh, you told me there is Garland. 
is your cousin. Yes. Yes. Um, Shout out to Cuz, man. DG, bro. <laughs> yeah. Just signed a big contract this offseason, man. Oh, man. Just got getting history, that man. Getting that bag, but up. how close are you with him? And what do you think about the new look, Cavaliers, though, with Donovan Mitchell coming in? Oh, I'm close with him. You know, I pick up the phone, text him. I got his number, you know. And then I talk to us. He got older brothers as well. You know, I'm close. Okay. With him. Yeah. So that's that's nothing. Like, to be honest with you, not to really dwell on that. But, you know, that's family. So mm-hmm. whenever, you know, we link up in the same area, whatever, it's all love. And I talk to his older brothers all the time as well. You know, he's more busy. You know, he's on the NBA, mm-hmm. you know, always training and everything. But most definitely, like, my whole family, his older brothers, it's all love. What do you think about the new look, though? Oh, I like it. Like I like it. it. I like it. I like I like it. You know, when I, I woke up to it, mm-hmm. I actually texted him as well. But most definitely, I was surprised by that. Because, you know, the Utah Jazz, you know, put D. Mitch on the market. Yeah. And then... uh you know, I think that surprised a lot of the NBA world, you know. I was really surprised. Yeah, that surprised a lot of people, like, seeing that trade go down. Like, it just happened. Like I didn't even expect his go- him going to Cleveland. Exactly. That's how I felt. Nobody yeah. expected that trade. I know. That's crazy. But, hey, I opened up your Instagram today. Yes. You were, like, one of the luckiest guy. You met Michael Jordan. Oh, man, the yeah. GOAT. I think yeah. that's in Vegas probably. Yeah, I met him 2019 Summer League. Yeah, it was crazy how I met him. Yeah. And then, hey, what can you remember from meeting the GOAT? Uh, you know what's crazy? Background story. I'm with Darius Garland, his older brothers. Okay. So we in the hotel. I want to say we at the win. The win. Yeah, we at the, at the win. We at the win. Yeah. So my two older cousins, uh, DG's older brothers, uh-huh. they taking a long time in the hotel. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, man, I'm about to leave and go to the parking deck. I'm about to go put my bags in the car, you okay. know, like they, they taking their time. So as I'm in the lobby, I'm walking to the parking garage. I see Michael Jordan, like he's by himself, like coming out of the park. I'm no going security? to, no nothing. Like what? I'm walking. I'm like, is this Michael Jordan? Like I was kind of starstruck, yeah. you know, I'm being honest right now. I was starstruck. I'm I like, <laughs> I stop. I'm like, is this Michael Jordan? And I kept walking. I had his shoes on. This is the second time I met Michael. Just to let you know, first time was I was in sixth grade, but that's a whole nother story. Yeah. But I'm walking, I get closer to him in my head. I'm like, man, this is really Michael Jordan. Damn, this is Michael Jordan right here. So I stopped. I just looked and I was like, yo, this is like my second time meeting you. I, first time I met you, I was in sixth grade. Like, yo, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Like, so he said, yeah, you can get a picture. And then uh, I was about to ask somebody for a picture. He, he told me, he was like, no, don't ask somebody. That's going to bring attention. Like, he literally told me that. So I just got my phone out. I flipped it and just took a selfie. Like, I took a selfie, and then that's how it happened. Like, that's, how the, that's the real story. I left my cousins in the room, and I met Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and then what your cousin said after that? Man, it was crazy. I don't know. Like, but it was a lot of, you know, what's crazy. You know, I met Michael Jordan. But I passed Chris Paul. Okay. Like, Chris Paul was in the lobby. I want to say Jamal Crawford was in the lobby as well. I seen him, but I just kept walking. Bro, this is Michael Jordan, yeah. bro. <laughs> this is black Jesus, like, he, bro. He was, by, he was by himself. So I was like, man, I got to ask him for a picture. And then you know, I was going to ask somebody to take it. He said, don't, he said, don't ask nobody. He said, no. Crazy, though. Like, no security? I'm no, surprised there's no security. By himself. By himself. By himself. And he was... It was a great, great experience for yeah, sure. Man, once like, in a lifetime. Once, once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. I mean, you know, he was nice enough to take a picture too. Sure, for yeah. sure. I think I got him when I said, yo, I met you one time in Chicago. You was watching your son play. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, he was watching the son play, so he wasn't real. I was young. I was like in sixth grade. Sixth grade. Yeah, I think that, that got him on that one. Yeah. But now we're going to answer a couple questions from my followers. Okay. Um, yeah, first one, does anyone ever mistake you for Iman Shumpert? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Bro, what's crazy is like, okay, I moved to Atlanta. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I moved to Atlanta. Once I moved to Atlanta, man, I heard that left and right, left and right. I'm talking about even people back home said, like, people done posted me, mentioned Iman Shumpert. Like, uh, they done mentioned him, like, one time. Like, he posted me on his story, like, twice before. Mm-hmm. He was like, damn, I really thought that was me. But most definitely, I get that everywhere I go. Every if I if I got a hundred dollars for every time somebody said that, bro, You'll be like, rich. bro, if I got a hundred, not a dollar, <laughs> but I'll say a hundred, bro, I'll be living good right now, bro, for sure. <laughs> I just realized that too when I saw your one of your photos today, and yeah. someone mentioned that, like, oh, like, oh yeah, he he kind of looked like Ewan Shumper from the side, bro. I get that all the time. It never fails, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that for the rest of my life, bro. I already know wow. I am, man. Favorite food in Indonesia. Indomie. 
It don't mean what it don't mean, <laughs> bro. It don't mean with eggs and then also uh saute, 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 saute. Oh, I good. love saute. Like late night on the street, if I'm walking, like oh. me personally, like you know, a lot of people don't like street food. Yeah. I don't know, but me, I get the street food. You know, I get the saute. I probably get like ten, fifteen of them. Even when I'm in Bali, you know, I go to Bali, I got like 15, 20 of them. I just eat all the saute. Oh, yeah. it's, it's his birthday is coming up. Yes, it's going to Bali. September 9th. Yes, sir. <laughs> Virgo. Everybody, Virgo, hey. baby, man. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to all my Virgos out there, man. For sure, man. For sure. Bali, man. Hey, somebody, hey, party promoter, hit him up on IG. Most definitely. We're going we to get right out there. We're going to get right out there. I know, man. Hey, but you just told me you got a tattoo out here. How many tattoos did you get out here? Uh, how many tats total did I get out here? Yeah, out here. One, two, three, four, five. Five tattoos total, but two wow. real big ones. Like, I just got a real big you one. Got, hold on, you got five and two real big ones? Yes. In, in, in like right what? In like in a span of three months? Yes. Three <laughs> different sessions. My session actually yesterday. I'm still in little pain. I got my whole right oh, side shit. yesterday, my rib. Okay, what's the latest one? What you got? Yesterday. Yeah. No, no, what, what did you get? What did you I can show you. I'll show you. I got this uh, Indian. It's, it's kind of a story, you know, growing up. Okay. My dad said, I'm the chief, you the Indian. So ah, I got an Indian on my rib right I there. See. And then, you guys can see it. No, we're going to add it in the, we gonna add it in the video. <laughs> yeah. We're going to add it in the video. Oh, I got wow. you. How long does it take to do this, bro? Oh, yesterday, <laughs> she so charged me for four hours, but it was like five hours and some change. Oh, okay, so she Mo was she gave you a discount. Yeah, she and then she's good. Shout out to Wendy. You know, Wendy always held me down. You know, she finished my stomach as well. Wow. I finished my stomach while I was out here. And then my right arm, it wasn't complete. So she completed my right arm too. That was yeah. That was. I'm gonna get one. my first one next month. No, this, this month? month actually. This month in Seattle. Where you getting it at? In Seattle, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, right here on my, right here. I'm gonna put hashtag for the Indonesian basketball culture. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that. That's not gonna hurt. That's gonna be a nice little spot. Yeah. That's not gonna hurt. My wife got three already, so I need to catch up. To catch oh, for sure, yeah. you gotta catch up, man. <laughs> I gotta catch up. You got to, bro. Yeah. But I think I heard it's really addictive, though. If you got one, yeah, you're gonna get you more. Get one, you're gonna keep going, keep going. Like I'm not done. My goal is to uh, finish my left leg, my back, and then uh, I'll be done. By 30, I want to finish all that. I want to be done with tattoos by 30. Last I'm getting question. old, getting old. I mean, I'm 35. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but last question, though. How, how big of a chance you coming back to Indonesia and play in the IBL? That's what everybody want to know. You know, it's a big chance for sure, you know. Uh, they were united. The organization, the program is in talks with my agent right now, mm -hmm. you know. And as far as, you know, the IBL, I honestly don't know the rules. Because I think you have to draft a player, then you have, like, you could sign one player back. So we just have to figure everything all out. But, you know, I'm open to it. You know, I'm not shutting out the IBL at all. And most definitely, I, I want to get some revenge. You yeah. know, we're losing the prior way to the first round of playoffs. You know, that wasn't my expectations. But for me personally, I want to come back here. You know, I got goals. You know, I've seen how the other imports, you know, the stats, the awards that were handed out. And I think that, you know, with me having a full season, my name, yeah, my name would be in those talks, you know. So, you know, I'm humble, so most definitely, like, no I want to be in those talks, you know. No I want to be in those awards. Uh, you cannot say this, but I'll say it to IBL. Okay. IBL, you got to stop with the drafting, man. You got to no stop. Draft. No more. I, I don't like it. Personally, I don't like it. I feel like it's better if team can sign the imports right away so yes. they can choose who they want. Yes, I agree. Yeah. And you, a, a little background story with me and the IBL, yeah. so... Before I came out here, September, October, mm -hmm. you know, the draft was in, what, November, right? November. Last November. Yeah, last November. My name was in the draft. I didn't get drafted. They told me the reason I didn't get drafted is because I didn't have the vaccination. I guess you had to have be vaccinated. Oh, okay. they, like, you had to be vaccinated. That's mm -hmm. what they said. I didn't have no vaccination, so I ended up getting vaccinated. You know, it's crazy how God works, you know? Yeah. I go to Europe, I go to Hungary. After I finish up, I get the call to come to the IBL in Indonesia. So, And I got vaccinated, so I was like, yeah, I'm done missing out on money. I'm, I'm going to get vaccinated, so nah, man, I got the job. It, man. You got to do what you got to do, man. Yeah. You know, you got to do what it is to get that back. For but. a fact, for a fact. 
But man, once again, hey, thank you so much, Dozo Ran. My guy, I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir, man. appreciate you too, man. Hey, I I really hope you're coming back, man. I need I need to watch you play a whole season because you were killing it, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, a lot of people was telling me like, you know, teams are gonna draft me, teams are gonna draft me, but most definitely. You know, no disrespect to no other team, but, you know, they were united as home, you know. <laughs> so I want to, you know, come back, you know, prove to everybody that, yo, they were united. We can make things happen, you know. Yeah, man. I want to come back, and that's for sure. It's open. Yeah, it's man. Open. It's open. Man. I mean, like, this, the off season is not too long. It's just like three months. Exactly. So, yeah. not, matter of fact, it might be two months. Yeah. October is the draft, and then they want you back out here by the end of October. So There we Get this guy back, man. Yeah, Come on, bro. He just. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. You came all the way from the states and you only played three games. Man, it's all good. You know, everything happens for a reason. You know, God always has things. They happen. You never know what's gonna happen next. I keep, I keep telling people, man. When we, when everybody watch you play in the playoff, I'll be like, yeah. bro. Every time Zoran on the court, they are up. Yeah. Every time, bro. Man, I, I really ain't pay attention to the crowd, but you know, I watch the games. I see the fan love, and I appreciate all the fan love from the day with United fans. You know, I got a lot of messages on Instagram throughout the games and everything. So, most definitely, thank you. Thank you. But, you know, I'll come back yeah, for man. sure. Get the fans a better show for a whole year. Oh, hell and let, yeah. And let them know, like, yo, the day with United, like, we stamped, you know? Hell yeah. So, man, everybody, don't forget, man, to show love to Zoran on Instagram. Yes, sir. Yeah, now, message him. Yeah, man, you need to make a shirt, though. Make a shirt? I got a shirt. You got a shirt? Yeah. Oh. I gave it to my... Look, shirt's coming soon. All my people back home that put the orders in, for yeah. sure I got you. They coming back with me. Yeah, yeah I got a that shirt, shirt, man. That shirt is fire, I man. might leave one with you. Stop. I might leave Stop. one with you. Yeah, that shirt is fire. Everybody needs a shirt, man, you know? You. So we can rock that to the game. You no, know? I got you. If I come... If I come back, for sure, I'm going to get more shirts made, pass them out to the city, you know, have all the fans, and then they're going to be able to win. It's good for your branding as well, you know? Yeah, it is. It is. And I'm just now starting to get on that right now. I'm kind of late. You know, I'm getting old, but it's never too late as far as branding yourself. So I'm about to really take that serious within the next year. I just started my channel five years ago. I was 30. You know, it's okay. never too late, bro. Got you. Yeah. I got you. Say less. I'm about to start a uh, channel, too. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I'm going to send it to my boy Rocky, which I got to subscribe to my channel, man. Follow me on Instagram as well, and I'm we're going to get busy. Yes, I'm going to have sir. content. Content coming soon, too, as well. And hey, we'll be waiting for your content, bro. Yeah, cool. Hey, it's all right. Once again, man, thank you so much for stopping by at my thank show. You, I appreciate you having me, bro. Yeah, I had to get on here, man. I've been seeing it all on Instagram, so I had to get it. Yeah. Sure, had to man, get mine in. Agent was hitting me up too. Oh, he was. <laughs> yeah, he was like after that Tyrese Halliburton video. Yeah. He was like, he said, "Hey, man, I love your content. I really appreciate him." I'll subscribe to him. Everybody subscribe too. You know, I'm gonna repost this, but yes. my boy Rocky, the best out here in Indonesia, oh, man. He okay. holds it down, man. <laughs> holds it down. I appreciate the love, man. But once again, everybody, show love to Zoran and support him, and we hope you're gonna come back next season. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys again next video, man. Peace out, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you.